The Black Hills' fifth highest peak, Terry Mountain, is perhaps the only other peak that could compete with Harney Peak in terms of annual tourist volume. However, the purpose of such trips is fundamentally different from that of the regular visitors to Harney Peak. Terry Peak is ranked number 4 in the Black Hills for ascent, according to lists of John, and number 5 in height, with a prominence of 1,006 feet. For those who want to climb the top 5 mountains in the Black Hills, Terry Peak is crucial. Visitors to the peak are treated to a fantastic panoramic view of the northern Black Hills thanks to the observation platform. Inyang Kara Mountain, Wyoming, Crow Peak, Custer Peak, Little Crow Peak, Spearfish Peak, Bear Butte, and other summits are seen from Terry Peak. From the peak, you can see Spearfish Canyon's higher rim. The Terry Peak ski area, several residences, businesses, communication towers, and even gold mine operations are all located atop the mountain. It is one of the peaks in the Black Hills that may be distinguished from other significant summits the easiest due to its prominence and form. Wildlife is still visible in the woods on the mountain, which are dominated by ponderosa pine, aspen, and birch, despite the substantial inflow of humans there. The woodland is a component of the Northern Hills Ranger District and the Black Hills National Forest. The Deadwood Lead Region and the head of Spearfish Canyon are both just a few miles to the southwest and east, respectively, of Terry Peak. The mountain symbolizes the northern Black Hills tertiary intrusive igneous rock features. From this article, we will be sharing some of the most prominent Terry Peak summer activities available for you to consider. History of Terry Peak General Alfred Terry inspired the naming of Terry Peak. For more than a century, mining activities have played a significant role in the history of the region. At the peak, a sizable fire lookout was maintained for many years. Living quarters were constructed in the area between the stone foundation and the tower construction in the 1960s after the tower's stone base and tower were constructed in 1949. Due to ongoing maintenance issues, it was judged in 1973 that the lookout was no longer suitable for its intended use. As a result, the lookout and the living quarters were taken down, and the stone foundation was transformed into a public viewing deck. Greater than Reed, is traveling a hobby? The ultimate guide to an exciting way of life. Greater than. Greater than learn about the downsides of traveling as a hobby. 1. Climb to the peak. With a top elevation of over 7,100 feet and the highest lift service between the Alps and the Rocky Mountains, Terry Peak, located just outside of Deadwood, offers almost three times as much snow as other areas in the area. The Terry Peak ski area provides a ton of fun and excitement with one terrain park and 29 routes. In the event of a less snowy winter, the ski area maintains optimum conditions all season long with the use of synthetic powder. The Nevada Gulch Lodge and the Stewart Lodge provide accommodation with a bar, a diner, and comforts of home. 2. Visit Silverado. The Silverado Franklin Historic Hotel and Gambling Complex offers luxurious hotel rooms, delectable cuisine, and exhilarating and enjoyable gaming. Numerous well-liked casino games are available at the gaming facility, including slots, three-card poker, blackjack, Texas Hold'em, Roulette, and Craps. Additionally, there is a poker room and a winner's circle. Regarding eating, the Silverado Grand Buffet is the only casino in Deadwood with a buffet in the Las Vegas style. It has more than 80 feet of buffet, wood-fired pizzas, a salad bar, a dessert bar, and live kitchen stations that prepare meals on demand. Diners may eat as much prime rib and crab as they like on Fridays and Saturdays. 3. Mount Roosevelt Monument. Seth Bullock, the first sheriff of Deadwood, built the Mount Roosevelt Friendship Tower, sometimes referred to as the Mount Roosevelt Monument, in 1919. Theodore Roosevelt, a personal friend of Bullock's for a long time, was honored with the construction of this monument. Roosevelt's life was commemorated with the goal of creating a location where people may enjoy the open landscapes that Roosevelt and Bullock cherished throughout their lives. There are five separate picnicking areas at the Mount Roosevelt Picnic Area, and a nature walk departs from the one with restrooms. 4. Tatanka. The book Tatanka, Story of the Bison recounts the era when the Great Plains of North America were home to millions of bison. It's believed that there were just a few hundred bison in the region. A focal point for two distinct civilizations, one of which relied on these buffalo and the other of which regarded them as a means to an end, understanding and embracing the joint past as well as an opportunity to go ahead, Kevin Costner developed Tatanka. The Sweetgrass Grill, a gift store, a center for interpretation, life-size sculptures, and much more are all available to visitors. 5. Broken Boot Mine for Gold The Deadwood Gulch saw an influx of madams, mule skinners, merchants, and miners in 1876 as a result of the gold rush. 
at the Broken Boot Gold Mine in Deadwood, which was founded in the year 1878, the fascinating story of one of the last significant gold rushes in the United States is brought to life. Tours are offered every 30 minutes, and knowledgeable guides assist modern tourists uncover the romance and mystique of the traditional methods of gold mining. Following the tour, visitors may attempt gold panning for themselves, much as other prospectors did at the same location more than a century ago. 6. Hotel and Gaming in Mineral Place In the contemporary Mineral Place Hotel and Gaming, guests may try their luck at striking gold. Roulette, three-card poker, and blackjack are just a few of the casino games that both tourists and locals may try their luck at. Additionally, the newest spaces may be found in Mineral Place. The Grand Hotel, which is located in the historic Deadwood, has first-rate dining options and one of the greatest and largest casinos in the area. The Black Hills region's Gem Steakhouse offers the widest selection of steaks. A souvenir shop and a liquor store in the style of the Wild West are additional luxuries. 7. Cemetery at Mount Moriah On a top of a mountain, the ancient Mount Moriah Cemetery looks out over the lovely Deadwood Gulch. The cemetery, which dates back to the year 1878, is the last resting place of several figures from the early history of Deadwood, South Dakota's economy, including madams, killers, and western legends. The Mount Moriah Cemetery is more than simply a cemetery. With the northern Black Hills serving as its background, visitors get the opportunity to tour a cemetery from the late Victorian period. People may easily tour the property thanks to the concrete pathways that run around the grounds. You may get information at the visitor center. 8. Museum of Days of 76 Learn about Deadwood's early settlers at the Days of 76 Museum, which is devoted to paying tribute to the memories of the prospectors, mule skinners, miners, and madams who were responsible for the town's expansion. Within its cutting-edge facilities, Days of 76 Museum offers themed exhibits, such as the Firearms Exhibit, which displays over 120 different types of weapons and pistols from the Black Hills in American history. Another excellent museum that features 50 vintage wagons, buggies, and other animal-powered vehicles is called Deadwood, a story of movement and change. A replica of Deadwood's main street that has panoramic images of the surrounding area, antique cars, depictions of wooden and brick structures, a Victorian residence, and other sites is not to be missed. Final words. These are the most prominent Terry Peak summer activities to try. Make sure that you pay attention to them and get the most out of time you spend in Terry Peak you will surely enjoy all the great experiences coming on your way.